Taylor Embry, UCLA wide receiver. You're now in your third year. Uh, Nurik Neuheisel's in his third year. The whole team almost seems like in its, it's in its third year. Not quite senior laden with that with that leadership, but do you feel like the team has kind of come together in year three as as that unit? Definitely. You know, like you said, we don't at wide receiver. We don't have any seniors, so you know. Uh, but we have me and Nelson. We uh, this is going on our third year. We kind of got to take on that seniorship uh, leader role, and you know, Josh Smith has the experience too. So. You know, uh, we don't have uh, seniors really on the offense, but we know what we got to do, and we're ready to take that role. You know, when you have that not only experience on the field, but when you have that experience in the huddle and, and in the locker room and everything, does being a senior really matter? I, I mean, it almost seems like, you know, there's sophomores and freshmen and there's juniors and seniors, and you, you get past that. Well, definitely, you know, uh, it, I really, you know, I can't say because I haven't been a senior, but from just being around, you know, I think it, it, if you can go out there and lead the team, lead your position, it doesn't matter if you're a freshman, sophomore, junior, senior. Uh, it's all about making plays and, you know, uh, getting the people in your group to, uh, you know, compete, go out there and uh, play to their abilities. You know, you're, you're a smart guy. You're, you're one of the most cerebral wide receivers, you know, at the college of live met um tell me is the pistol gonna work <laughs> you know what i really do think it's gonna work it, it allows us to do so many things you know we have so many weapons on offense uh and uh with some of the guys that we brought in uh you know we can do so many different things with the weapons we have uh especially you know someone like morell or uh, uh anthony barr and christian ramirez you know they can play running back wide out they can do so many things and the pistol is gonna allow us to utilize all those weapons is it about maximizing individual talent at individual time you know as opposed to say you're running the shock or you know running the spread formation where each an individual player every play kind of is part of a bigger grand scheme is this more individual big play we need this right here right now well definitely that you know it allows us to you know uh, use what we've been doing in the past that's been working but also like you said uh different packages for different players you know we, we can do so many things we can bring in tight ends we can bring in you know uh, the morale presley's the tight ends you know uh, so it allows us to do that, you know, utilize individual uh, talents and uh, allow individuals to make explosive plays. You know, at the same time, you talk to the coaching staff, and in a lot of ways they're kind of downplaying uh, the, the position. They're kind of downplaying the, the emphasis on it. Uh, do you see uh, this becoming your offense and looking forward you guys are going to be a pistol kind of guy uh, or a team? Or do you see it being a wrinkle? You know, maybe you're going to you're gonna run pro style for... Ten plays and then toss this one in every once in a while. Well, you know, I think that uh, it, we'll be able to use this uh, whenever we want to, whenever we need to. And you know, it's still the, the plays we're running. We still uh, utilize the pro style plays. So if we need to go into a different formation, we, we can do that. But I think you know, the, with the pistol, it just allows us to do so much that I think it's going to be very effective. And uh, you know, I think that's what we're going to stick to. Uh, I, I'm not sure, but you know, I, that's what I think. How important was the spring for you guys to to have it in? And to not go back, you know, to the other offense. To really spend 15 practices hammering at home. Mm -hmm. You know, it allowed us to get comfortable in it. And, uh, you know, it also showed us what we can do uh, as it developed towards the end of spring. We, we were able to make some big plays, especially in the running game yeah. with it. You know, during practice we had some explosive runs with it. So, you know, I think it just uh, it allowed us to get comfortable with it and uh, show what we can do with it. Um, you talk to you guys. You talk to the players, the coaching staff. UCLA is going to go 25 and 0. You're going to beat every team in the country and win the Super Bowl somehow. Uh, you talk to the Pac-10 media and you guys are picked eighth. Yeah. Um, why the why the Grand Canyon between what we think and what you think? Because uh, we know what we're capable of, you know, and uh, we know that last year we let too many games get away from us. You know, it wasn't like last year we we were getting blown out every game. You know, there were so many games that we lost that we were in, and uh, you know, with that experience and with some of the new guys coming in and with some of the wrinkles we have on offense, it's going to give us the advantage to go out there and win those games that we let get away from us but you know uh, we're fine you know if they, if they have us eighth or whatever we can't worry about them it's at the end of the day it's all about us so you know I'd rather go out there and surprise everyone than you know go out there and be favored to win yeah you, you know you look at the losses that you had last year kind of going on what what you're saying uh, that Oregon game got away from you yeah, whatever you want to yeah. say it uh, you know the Arizona game was was a pretty tough one for you guys Stanford was a eight-point game you guys were close do you almost get the feeling like Either way, you guys are a play here or play there. Oh. And is it important for you guys to come out and dominate in this year, or is it important for you guys to come out and win and just get wins? You know, like, 
at this point, it's important for us to get wins. You know, a win's a win. You know, it's nice to go out there and blow a team out, but, you know, it, it's the Pac-10. You know, you never know what's going to happen, yeah. especially you have teams with Washington. They have Jake Locker back. Stanford's going to be a tough opponent. You know, every team has has a chance to win. So, really, you want to go out there and win. If you can go out there and dominate, that's great. But, like you said, it, it's a play or two here or there. You know, we were in it with Oregon. We, Player two goes either way. We win that game. They yeah. won, they won the Pac-10 last year. So uh, you know it's just important to go out there every week and compete and uh, you know go in there believing that you're going to win and uh, playing your hardest. All right. Now, last question for you: Be as honest as possible. Rank or, or rate Kevin Prince one through a hundred last year and where he is right now. It's tough. You're on the spot here. It is. You know, last year, as are we ranking him on the freshman scale? Yeah, or? exactly. On the freshman scale, you know, I thought he did a solid job. You know, I'd give him an 85, but. He, he knows what he, he can do more, and uh, we all as a team know what he's capable of. You know, this year he has the ability to be one of the guys in the Pac-10. I I won't rank him now, you know, <laughs> it's still preseason, but he knows and we all know that he has a, a capability of being the top guy in the Pac-10. So he, he's out there competing, and he knows what he has to do, and I think this year he's going to surprise a lot of people. All right, Taylor Embry, UCLA wide receiver. Thanks, man. Thank you.